Kowalchuk. Um, what I've done is built a thermoelectric generator out of Constantan and copper wire. Uh, I've made 16 thermocouples and, and hooked them up in series uh, because that's what I like to do in my spare time. And uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that if you hook these, these, um, these thermocouples up in series, you can produce uh, a current that's high enough and a voltage that's high enough to light up an LED. And I'm going to sh show you kind of what we're getting with, with the multimeter here. Now the reason that this occurs is that uh, uh, electrons in one of them in, in, in one material or an electron in one material will have a higher energy than it will in another material, so it's going to flow from that lower energy to the higher energy when you heat up um, a higher energy material when you heat up that one side and, and you cool the other. So I'm going to cool it with a glass of ice water. I'm going to heat it with a propane torch, um, and uh, we'll hook up the LED and a multimeter and, and show you what we're getting out of it. Uh, so what I'll do just first here, I'm going to hook up the, uh, the multimeter, uh, and in this case, the constantan is my negative lead. So I'll switch it over to DC. Oh, there. Too many ice cubes. works okay so as you can see here we're already getting about uh, 20 milliamps of DC power here excuse me millivolts and now what I'm going to do is uh, heat up one side the torch now if you look at the multimeter it's going up pretty significantly uh, we're already at about almost 200 and okay we just reached the 200 millivolt mark so pretty significant just just for that immediate um, temperature dif differential that we just uh, exposed it to so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up the LED um, and show you that when you apply a load you can get some current so, let me show you hooking this up. And my assistant is going to kill the lights for me. Alright. So, again, heating the hot side here. And as you can see, the LED is lighting up for us. Pretty bright, I might add. Now these, these devices are used uh, in, in space probes and remote locations here on, on Earth, so uh, because of the fact that they're so reliable, there's no moving parts, you can produce electricity with no moving parts. So I'll get the lights again. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push this baby to our limits and see what the maximum voltage is we can get out of it. Because of the fact that I've already we've already proved that proven everything. All right. So we'll take a look at the multimeter here and see what we're going to get. Up to. Uh, 250, 260, 275. Oh, there's some burning going on. That's just the. Uh, Four minutes. All right. Okay, we're already up to 377. Keep going. Four and a half. All right. Well, we got up to almost almost 400 millivolts there, almost half a volt. So you could you could light up a whole entire bathroom with that, probably. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed.